here's a beautiful graph that looks like astronomy, uh, where it shows the intensity of electromagnetic radiation emitted from a distant star. So on this axis is how bright that light is, how intense. Let's talk about it. When you look in the sky, you see it bright, right? And what color is that thing? Or accurately, what wavelength is that electromagnetic radiation released? In which region is the electromagnetic spectrum of the radiation most intense? So greatest intensity. So it kind of look like, oh, greatest intensity is somewhere here. So what is this region? What, 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 what are we in? It's perhaps useful to memorize the wavelength. If you haven't, here's a tip. Let's think about visible light, because that's the one that I memorized first. Visible light is the colors of the rainbow. So, hey, hey, this is my favorite thing to do. Visible light goes like that, all the way to purple, and kind of stop there. Okay, this is visible light. We will go from about uh, the longest wavelengths, about 750. Shortest is purple. Do I have purple color? Purple, somewhere about 450, 400, somewhere there. Let's just say 400. It's almost ultraviolet already. Beyond there, if you go some more, it's ultraviolet. Because, you know, violet is purple. Very purple, they call ultraviolet. Here is already red color. You want to go longer wavelength some more? Uh, what's after red? Oh, infrared. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's draw that on the graph. 750 is about red color somewhere there. So here, here is about red. Ultraviolet? No. Violet is about 400 something. So let's draw here. So this here is our rainbow spectrum. Somewhere there. Okay. That's called the visible range. So let's label this visible light. On the red side, you want to go further? Is what? Infrared. On the left side, it's more purple than violet is what? UV, ultraviolet. So based on this elimination now, we know it's highest intensity. It's not going to be visible. This is going to be an invisible star. We don't see much color, but it's releasing a lot of stuff. So mm -mm, don't think visible is the correct peak here in the highlighted zone on this side. Infrared, confirm cannot. Infrared is a very long, low energy wavelength. So that's out. In ultraviolet and X-ray. X-ray? Uh, I don't think X-ray is such long. <laughs> this is way too small to be on the chart. Too small to be on the graph because we are looking at the scale of nanometers. X-ray is not nanometers. It's much, 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 much shorter. So, no. Best choice got to be UV, Adila. Eh, because after UV, here, okay, go a lot more on the X-ray, X-ray somewhere down here. So thankfully, this star is not very dangerous. Didn't release X-ray at us. So best choice here, by process of elimination, ultraviolet. That's how you can think of one way to think of the electromagnetic spectrum. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.